Hey everybody, welcome back to my part five of sniffing through the catalog. Um, we're going over the wax that is available for the fall winter 2020 catalog, uh, which is available August 1st. So I've been going through and sniffing and going over the descriptions of all the waxes in the different categories, giving you my honest opinions about them, giving you whether or not I would buy them or would recommend them to you to buy them and a lot of it I have warmed and had experience with it others I haven't so I honestly will tell you that um, same with the bakery um, a lot of it I have smelt before um, some of it I really didn't love last year and now that I'm sniffing it this year I'm coming back around to it um, bakery is something that I really don't gravitate towards too often especially in the spring summer Kind of months and um, more towards the holidays more in the fall i might like the odd bakery but i don't love it all because to me it's very very sweet very chloe chloe oh, i can't even pronounce that word very sweet and i don't, really don't like very sweet things um i like desserts mind you but i mean I don't want my house to smell sweet all the time, but I mean, I do enjoy my house smelling like a bakery of some sort. So, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of in between on the fence all the time and I go back and forth with the scents as well. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. So without further ado, let's move on. Almond Croissant is a new one and highly recommend. It's a new release and I really love it. Like... I'm surprised at how much I do love this one. Um, it's very nice. Right off the bat, it's like medium. Like, you can smell it right off the bat. It's it's going to be lovely when it's warmed. It's going to be a lovely mixer, too. Like, you put a, a frosting kind of um, wax with it. Um, when it's like the vanilla bean buttercream or a butter... Um, an apple butter frosting or maybe... Uh, pecan um butter frosting you know um hazelnut maybe you know and i think it'd be lovely so sorry i just um a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond so you are getting all those scent no notes and more i mean it is very medium to strong on cold i think Anybody that warms this, and I like I said, I think it would be a good mixer with the other waxes. Even like a fruity wax would actually go good. To me, um, croissants, I love baked, like freshly baked croissants coming out of the oven or from a bakery. You put butter and you put jam on it. Like to me, that's kind of smells like that, but in a different twist, like a fall twist. So like I said, um, I am getting that cinnamon sugar which is very nice i am getting that fresh baked croissant um the pastry and i'm getting almond but to me you could also pair it with a, a nice apple scent as well johnny apple seed um, maybe apple press those type of things and i think that would be very very pleasant so haven't warmed it yet i haven't had a chance to get a bar because it is new release and I'm going to be purchasing it. So it's one of the four that I really liked from the new um, 10 that came out. And so I would highly recommend you snagging that. That's Almond Croissant. The next one is Apples and Oats. And I was on the fence about this the other day. Don't know if I want oatmeal. To me, it reminds me of oatmeal, to be honest. So anyways, sorry. Um, oh, this is frustrates me because I thought I had it there we go it's kind of a brownie kind of beige kind of wax and here's what Sensi has to say about it rich buttery oats caramelized apple and warm hints of cinnamon beckon straight from a farmhouse kitchen like right off the bat I get the cinnamon I hardly get the apple to be honest it's kind of light um to medium the reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to warm it to get some of the scent notes to like the, the fragrant oil to come up to smell it even better because I, sometimes wax needs to be warmed. Um, oats I don't get. Very little apple. 
but as I keep warming it, the apple is coming through more and more. Um, I do like the caramelized, um, yeah, the caramelization of it. I do like the cinnamon. Rich buttery, I don't really get. Maybe on warm, you're going to get that note. Um, yeah, it's a like. It's not a love. I don't think I'll run out and buy a bar, to be honest. Um, on the fence, sorry. So that's a new one coming out, Apple Notes. If you think you'll like the scent notes, you just very well might. Just don't go buy my opinion. Like, take my opinion with a grain of salt, just because I don't like it. I think it's a, a lot better than, I guess, Perfect Oatmeal is what was in Bring Back My Bar. And that, to me, was like, <laughs> So, um, apples and oats. Um, the next one is apple butter frosting. And I truly like this more so than vanilla bean buttercream because of the apple in it. To me, this should be a bestseller. This should be in a brick. <laughs> it's, it's very nice. It's medium. I get the vanilla. I get the buttercream. I don't know if there's vanilla in here, though. I do get the apple, but I do get the creaminess from it. Um, cinnamon. So up my alley for the fall because I'm a big cinnamon person. I love cinnamon. Not really, really sharp, spicy cinnamons. Um, depending, though, depending on the scent. But I like the sweeter cinnamons, and, and this is done right, actually. And I have warmed it, and it's a good performer. It lasts a long time. It's like not wham-bam-in-your-face kind of scent. And it does well when mixing with other scents as well. I just mix it on its own because I do like it. It reminds me of something when you take something out of your oven and then you go to frost it. This is lovely. Like, I can't say more about it apple butter frosting a heartwarming medley of cinnamon spiced apples very true and a decadent vanilla buttercream so yes i was right so you are getting the vanilla you're getting the creaminess but i'll i'm getting more apple and i'm getting more cinnamon which i really enjoy so if you love those kind of scents i would recommend butter apple frosting and it's coming out in this new fall winter catalog apple cherry streusel I so wanted to love this one. A lot of people do. And to me, it's not authentic. It's not an authentic cherry. I mean, and it doesn't last. It lasts like a day. It fizzles out really quickly. You get like a very powerful um, apple and cherry. It's true so. And then it's just like, ugh, it dies. And it's, to me, it's, it should be more authentic. Like, yeah, it's like... This was a disappointing one. I really wanted to love it. And it's kind of like a light to medium. Like I said, it fizzles out really quickly. Um, a lot of people still buy it because they're still getting at least a day's worth out of it. It's Granny Smith Apple Cherry and Vanilla Drizzle. Insist on dessert first. Okay, I'm not getting the Granny Smith Apple out of it. I'm getting the cherry. I'm not sure about the vanilla. Um... Yeah, I'm getting the cherry and maybe like a creaminess. I might be getting some of the vanilla now, but on warm, it is it is pleasant. It's light, and like I said, it does fizzle out, and I was kind of disappointed. Had it been more authentic um, in a cherry kind of smell and more of a powerhouse, I might have loved it, but not a repurchase for me. And it's coming back in the fall winter catalog so snag it if that's what you think you'll enjoy baked apple pie definitely a, a must 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 it's very nice and so nice that i can't even find it here we go to me this this is done well since he knew how to do baked apple pie um yeah it smells like an apple pie. You can smell the crust. You can smell the apples. It's uh, medium to strong. I really love it. To me, you put it on in the fall and it lasts a long time in my house. Um, so it's a good scent thrower. I warm it in my kitchen and in my um, open concept living room. I wouldn't recommend it in a bathroom unless you want your bathroom to smell like baked apple baked apple pie it does smell like an authentic baked apple pie as if 
you know, you just took one out of the oven. My husband thinks that I bake an apple pie when he comes in. So yeah, highly recommend. And I actually bought it in a, in a big brick. The brick is actually the size of my freaking head. It's five and a half of those clamshells. It's five and a half of these. And it's so worth it because if you're going to go through lots of, of, um, wax that you really enjoy you might as well get the brick if you can get a brick you can only get the bricks though through your scentsy club and it's limited to the favorite scent so far but you know it's worth it to me to have a brick come an apple pie so let's carry on blueberry cheesecake woohoo this is the one that made my husband sick for 24 hours because he is um fragrant and sensitive and some scents just make him go have a migraine and make him sick like physically throw up and yeah not my favorite it is very strong like really strong it's kind of like a sour note when it warms had this been cherry blue had it been cherry um yes yes this is an authentic new york cheesecake yes it's an authentic blueberry but to me those combinations just don't jive I really don't like this <sighs> like and I made my husband sick from it but it is a strong wham bam in your face kind of scent it is a strong performer if you like blueberry if you like cheesecake you do get the graham crust uh, graham crust coming through um no I can't get behind this but a lot of people love it and like I said if you like the cheesecake notes in it if you like the blueberries it is recommend and it's a good bakery one and what Sensi has to say about it is thick rich new york cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries and all those notes come out and they're very strong very powerful to the point that it made my husband who gets migraines throw up anyways <laughs> what a recommendation eh Oh, I'm going to buy <laughs> blueberry cheesecake because the consultant on YouTube said her, her husband threw up to it. Well, forget about that. Like, no. <laughs> it's, it's just, yeah, get it. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Uh, I've talked too much as it is. Breakfast in bed is a new scent. It kind of surprised me the other day when a... Um, actually sniffed it so we'll see what i sniffed today yeah it's a it's a recommendation i really like this one um very it's not very strong it's like a medium throw i really do like it i'm getting that fruity kind of i'm kind of getting a cranberry vibe with this actually i don't even know why they're calling it breakfast in bed maybe there's supposed to be like a maple note to it but anyways wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry i don't get pumpkin from this i do get a pastry note black raspberry okay i could see where that is and topped by sweet cinnamon drizzle well i get a lot of cinnamon uh, and the drizzle probably is like a frosting kind of creamy note to me that's what i'm getting mostly um you do get the berry kind of vibe but i don't get the pumpkin like to me there's no pumpkin in there but that's just what I'm smelling. But I am going to snag a bar when I can and warm it. Maybe the pumpkin will come out. I'm not a fan of pumpkin, actually. But, uh, I mean, depending how it's, it is in a wax bar. So that's Breakfast in Bed. It's a new release. I would recommend it to, to try it because I'm going to go buy it. Um, doesn't mean that you have to, but upon that cold sniff, I would buy it. Butter Pecan. A lot of people love this. I don't know if you say pecan or pecan. I say pecan, but anyways. Um, yeah. You're getting that pecan. That deep pecan. To me, I'm smelling rum. <laughs> Maybe I'm hoping it has rum in it. But I'm getting the frosting. Not one of my favorites. Like I said, apple butter frosting is my favorite out of all the frostings. Um, so that's what I'm getting off of it. Medium um, throw upon cold. Never warmed it before. Um, a lot of people love it, though, and say it's long-lasting. So 
it's a good mixer so I've lost my spot sorry it if fall had a flagship fragrance this blend of candied pecan and maple folded with butter would be a strong contender so I am getting maple like I say oh I said rum so maybe the maple is maybe I'm thinking the maple should be rum because to me I kind of am getting the rum now maybe that's where the rum's coming in okay candy pecan and butter so it is a pleasant scent just something that I don't gravitate towards though so if you think you're gonna love that I would highly recommend it but to me I won't be buying it anymore I don't think even though I have two bars <laughs> I don't even know why I ended up with two bars. I think maybe they came as part of a trio pack or something. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows why I have like, some of these. <laughs> it's just another story. Hug in a mug. Actually, I really like. Um, it's not overly chocolatey. It's not overdone. It's done just right, actually. Very pleasant. I call it hot, the hot chocolate um, scent to me put some whipped cream on it way to go it warms really well um, upon cold it's like a medium you're getting that really to me that chocolate do you know if there's other scent notes in here I don't smell them all I smell is chocolate but I like it I'm warm it's really good um, hug in a mug to me that's my hot chocolate scent Curl up with chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. Well, <laughs> I get chocolate. I don't get cookie dough, and I don't get hazelnut. But that's what I smell, so, and I recommend it. So, to me, that's my hot chocolate scent. So, there you go. The next one, uh, Stroop Waffle Delight. And this one surprised me. Because last year, um... To be honest, I've never really smelt it until this year, and maybe I won't if I don't find it. Oh, brother. I think I need to go to bed. Um, here we go. It's like an orange kind of... Th I actually like it. I mean, I refused to buy it last year because it was like Stroop Waffle Delight. Oh, it sounds really gross. But I'm getting a caramelly note. I'm getting like that waffle kind of cone um, to me I think this will be really fun and really um, tasty <laughs> I was going to say how can wax be tasty it'll make me want to, a bakery like something coming out of the oven it just makes me want to have dessert when I smell this um, this will be a good um, fall scent to warm so that's Stroop Waffle Delight and everybody loved this last year Last year, I wouldn't buy it. It's like, no. And this year, I'm actually on the fence about it, and I think I will try it. A cozy twist and traditional Dutch treat made with creamy vanilla with rich melted butter and cinnamon. I do like it. Like, it's a good. Like, all those scent notes go together really well, and I think I will enjoy it. So I hope you will, too, grab some because it's in our new fall winter catalog this year stroop waffle delight it's kind of fun to say sugar cookie i had never really smelt up until i got my testers and i don't know do i really want to wax it smells like sugar cookie so they set up at the vanilla bean buttercream and the apple butter frosting to me i don't get sugar cookie i get cinnamon I do get bakery but a sugar cookie mm -mm. to me this is like I don't think it's gonna be my nose can barely smell it to be honest so I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of these um, warm sweet blend of butter sugar and creamy vanilla okay I am getting the vanilla um, the other notes uh -uh. It's nothing to write home about, sorry. But, I mean, a lot of people buy it and they mix it and they seem to have success with the mixer. So it's sugar cookie. So grab it if it sounds like it's something up your alley. And then 
Of course, the famous vanilla bean buttercream. It's the best seller. It's in a brick and everybody loves it. I can take it or leave it some days. I actually like it more this year. Um, I try. I smelt it. I did smell it last year because I did buy a box bar, but I never warmed it because I just, just didn't like it. But this year I'm kind of gravitating towards it. It's it's vanilla-y, it's buttery, it's creamy. So to me right now, it's kind of light. I don't know why. A lot of people say it's a strong thrower, but to me, this is very light. Um, who knows? I haven't warmed it. So we'll see. That's vanilla bean buttercream. It's kind of a beigey color kind of wax. And it's bestseller, so it's a bestseller for a reason. So a lot of people like it. So just because... I'm kind of like, yeah, but it doesn't mean don't go out and don't try it. Decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with canned sugar and vanilla extract. So yeah, you're getting all those scent notes, really. I'm just not sniffing what I'm supposed to be sniffing. I think I'm a little bit stuffed up, though, to be honest, right now. So I'm trying my best. But yep, yeah, that's my opinions about those. So catch you on the flip side thanks for watching and we'll go move on to the next category which is i think part six so anyways catch you on the flip side thank you very much bye for now